Okay, this sermon is entitled, Why Free Grace Has the Only Simple Gospel. I'd like to open up with prayer and then with a few verses. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 147 reads, Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. The Lord doeth build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the outcast of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Now, there are lots of people out there who claim that they're not free grace and that they hate free grace. And anyone who makes this stupid claim has no business even pretending to be a Christian because according to the Bible, the only way anyone is saved is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Let's take a look at a few verses that make that clear. Turn over to Romans chapter 5. It reads in verse 18, Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. Now, this tells us that every single person from the time of their birth is under judgment, and that judgment ultimately leads to condemnation. That's the bad news. But then it tells us the good news, and that is by the righteousness of one, that would be Jesus Christ, he was the only person that was actually righteous. He died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and rose again. He did this to give us the free gift of everlasting life and, of course, justification. And what this tells us is that the only way anyone is saved is by grace, and the only way to receive grace is by simple faith in Jesus Christ alone. Now, when people claim they're not free grace, what that means is that they have works in their way of salvation. And most of these people will not admit this. Some of these people are even too stupid or ignorant to realize this. Now, the only teaching in the Bible that makes the gospel simple is free grace theology. And whenever this message is corrupted, it is an act of Satan. Turn over to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. It reads in verse 3, But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Now, any type of gospel that's not simple, or it's not based on free grace theology, is another gospel. It's a false gospel or a pseudo-gospel that can't save anyone. And that's what Satan does. His M.O. or his objective is to corrupt, pervert, or defile the simplicity that's in Christ. So as free grace preachers, it behooves us to not follow him in his footsteps and to keep the gospel simple. In Romans chapter 12, it reads in verse 8, Or he that exhorteth, on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. So whenever we give the gospel, we're supposed to give it with simplicity. And free grace theology is the only soteriological system that does that. And every other gospel out there is anything but simple. Think about it. Repent of your sins. Nobody even knows what that means let alone can they fulfill it. And all these other Gospels are just based on man-made rhetoric. Like, for instance, surrender your life to Christ. Make Jesus the Lord of your life. Persevere to the end. No one has a clue what all that stuff means, and it could mean a hundred different things. Therefore, these stupid perversions of the Gospel do not convey a simple message that a child can understand. So, when somebody says they're not free grace, what they're really saying is they're probably not saved at all. And nobody gets saved by a complicated gospel. Turn over to Luke chapter 18. Let's take a look at verse 17, and it reads, Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. Translation, if you don't receive eternal life as a free gift by simply believing on Jesus Christ for it, you're not going to heaven. So, like it or lump it, free grace theology is the only theology or soteriology with a simple gospel. 
and every other false way of salvation, whether it be Calvinism, Lordship Damnation, or Arminianism, has a difficult gospel that saves no one and leads straight to hell. So that's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. (laughs) 